Carthage must be destroyed. I'm going to share with you guys the Fireforge lads that I've been doing up for the third heraldic series of uh, decals that I've been doing. Um, yeah, I'm doing a third one here. It's going to come on Kickstarter fairly soon, I'm hoping. And I've got the guys done up. So I'm going to show you guys the progress on that. Um, I'm also going to say here that I'm not doing a metal acquisition video this month. And that's simply because all of the acquisitions that I got were from those guys who sent me all those orcs and those goblins and those bits and that lot there. And I already did a nostalgia video. So instead of doing that video this month, um, I'm not going to do it. I did get a few extras though that uh, weren't in that video. And that includes this old, somebody's old paint job of a Doom Diver catapult goblin crew member. And uh, I, you know, he's just there. I actually have another Doom Diver coming in from a lad who sent one in. So I have a couple of those. A little extras are nice. And then I've got these snotlings. No, I call them snotlings. And it's interesting. I don't, I think this is from an older, uh, I don't remember what pack this is from. I actually have some broken ones on here. And they're not metal, they're plastics. Somebody's paint job again, or half paint job. But I think they're supposed to be snotlings of some sort, but there's, they're kind of like the same size as the current night goblins. So the goblins used to be a little bigger in the older Games Workshop miniatures, and now the, uh, you know, and the snotling metals are smaller, but then they made the goblins smaller, and now the old snotlings don't match, so you, sometimes you can't even tell the difference between goblin and snotling. In any case, I think these guys, the way they're sized, and depending on how I build my army, they'll either come off these bases and become goblins, or I'll take them off anyway and make, like, a snotling hordes later or something like that. But yeah, that's it. That's all the extra models I got beyond what I already shared. The other thing I want to share real quick, and this is just out of, you know, painting interest, is I'm doing a small, tiny commission work for my friend. And I'm doing up some Dungeon and Dragon guys for his, uh, this is just work in progress here. This guy's almost done with base coats. But I'm just doing some Dungeon and Dragon guys on the side. And yeah, just doing up for a buddy who commissioned me to do some up for his, uh, yeah, for some Dungeon and Dragon stuff. There's that guy there. So he's gonna have a he's gonna have a white ice flame sword. Cool shield with some nice colors there. And then there's this guy here. They were in a pack from WizKids, I believe. And this guy here is gonna have a black um, edge around on his armor. All those little designs will be black. And yeah, I just asked him, hey, what do you want to paint this like? And I'll just follow what he told me to paint it. So so those are works in progress. And it's only two models, so those should be done really soon. So that's just it for other news. The main point of this video that I wanted to share is that I am working on the uh, third Kickstarter and the models that are going to be in it are almost done. And I just thought, I think I shared them before, either on a sprue or assemble, I don't remember. But this is the end result here of these models here. Now, the Fireforge guys, it's very weird to come back to Fireforge and bigger, bulkier, heroic models after you've done a bunch of parry. And I've been doing a whole bunch of medieval knight parry miniatures, and man, coming back to these, I mean, these guys are great if you want to do fantasy stuff, but for scale and how they sit, they're, they're, they're not parry. <laughs> I'm not saying they're a worse model or not a, uh, they're not, you know, they're not, they're not bad models. It's just not the same style of painting Perry. So it's kind of because like, they're medieval. It's kind of a weird mindset where I'm like, I'm painting medievals and now I'm jumping to a different company. So it's kind of weird to paint something bulkier and heavier. I think it's a little easier to paint actually, especially if you do a lot of Perry and you go to something bigger. I noticed on Victrix too, you'll be painting something small from Perry. Maybe it's from like, you know, the, the uh, later 15th century, the War of the Roses stuff. And then you go back to Victrix, which was a little bigger in scale, and man, the Victrix is way easier to paint for some reason. And that's what I found in any case. So there's one guy, just a spear and a kettle helm. And these guys will appear in the next uh, Kickstarter, like I was saying. And I just kind of went crazy and random on the colors because, you know, these guys are just going to be basically for... Beyond, beyond the Kickstarter, I don't really know how much I'll be using them. I just wanted nice looking guys to hold shields and uh, show off the decals. And uh, 
you know, even the bases I just put, I think it's Astro Granite or something, just something really basic from Citadel, quick and easy. Still gonna wash them here tonight for, for the bases. But yeah, and you can see here, I've been practicing more, trying to do more eyes. I've been trying to find a good formula that I put like stubble and, you know, put color in the face. It's got a bit of gray on there and it might be a little too gray. I like the original one I did for a Roman that I did before, but I'm, I've just been practicing with that kind of stuff. And again, here the colors are just, you know, I just kind of randomly pick colors and <laughs> went crazy with them. I got some middle stone in there from Vallejo, because why not? And then I think that's uh, some Citadel Forest colors. This is like a desert yellow from Vallejo mixed with, uh, I think it's not Flash Quick, it's uh, Averland Sunset or something like that. It's just experimenting on these guys. This is a fun thing too with the Kickstarter because it's allowed me, the Kickstarter models, because I'm not doing them as part of like my main collections, I've just been experimenting and doing weird things with colors. Like this guy, for example, is like just a bunch of different greens, again with the middle stone. And I just made him a green man with green padded armor. And then he's got like a military green Vallejo sheath there that I quickly did up. And then I used like cork, I think it's cork brown and a beige or something on his axe handle wrapping. And again, I think cavalry brown on his other padding and clothing there. Again, nothing really, you know, I don't know if I'll use these combinations again, but it's just fun to play with things and see how they'll turn out. Again, Desert Yellow and Avalon Sunset. I actually like this guy a lot. He turned out really nice. He's got that weird, uh, I want to call it a bowl helmet. I don't know the right name. He turned out good with yellow. I, I've started to like painting yellow now that I have a good recipe. I know some people hate painting yellows because they have to multi-coat it. But um, after you get it down a bit, I quite like painting yellows, especially on medievals. And give it to the fancy and rich guys. I think it looks really cool. Um, something else this is on the green and yellow guy I showed you before too. Um, it's interesting that Fireforge, when they built these sergeants here, these are Fireforge sergeants, they have these flat um, arms and they're meant just to put shields on up close to the body. And I actually prefer them when they have the full arm like that. So when you like look at it aside and it doesn't matter how you glue it on, it's still there. But I think when the shield is up, it'll look nice. Cause behind there, you know, it's kind of weird too cause the sleeves don't match in the kit. <laughs> so it's kind of a weird thing they did. But I mean, when the shield's up and you look at the front, he'll be fine. He's got a nasty looking like spike on this thing there. I really like the blue and red guys too. This looks like the first guy kind of followed the same scheme. You know, I'll probably give him similar colored shields. But I followed a similar scheme there and you know, they look cool together. Sometimes doing a bit of a uniformity is nice, but not totally a uniform. And I like the whites. I didn't, I, this time I didn't, I didn't wash the whites. I've learned, I've learned that not washing whites looks better. At least that's what I think anyway. Maybe if I wanted a dirty look. This guy's face was also kind of weird in the sculpting or the, the, the plastic molding of it. <laughs> not sure what happened to him, but he turned out okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I was gonna say something else, but I totally lost it, <laughs> I was gonna say. And here's the last guy, he's just white. And again, this guy I did white, and I found on padded stuff, um, washing, uh, I think it's sepia in there, actually looks really cool when you do it on padding. But if it's like, I don't know why padding looks good, but then like clothing I don't like to wash. I, I, I don't know why, I think just the effect and how it sits, but just, you know, one guy has a bleached kind of tone with a wash there, and then this guy is just a, a white in general, right? So so anyway, that's what I've been working on mainly, and I wanna go back into my Perry stuff and my Sam Knights and Romans, but I just gotta get through the commission I shared with you. And oh, I did finish the shields for these guys too. I put it on this old uh, brush cleaning thing, there's nothing inside, but these are the shields, and they're fairly large for Fire Forge, just quickly done up, but I put them on here first, and then what I'm gonna do is I still have to paint the back of them. I'm gonna wait for my decals to be printed up though. And then I'll put the decals on here. I'll put them against that uh, pre-painted terrain wall that's been in every single Kickstarter as the cover photo. I'll take a picture of that, and then I'll sh take these shields after, and then I'll glue them on these guys here. And then I'll have lots of little photos of these guys in action, maybe fighting the uh, frost grip guys I did in the first Kickstarter or something. And then they'll show off the new decals, which are coming out soon, as I said. Um, and the last thing is that I did more of, uh, these are smaller shields, these ones here are from Footsore, and they're a little smaller, not too much smaller, but these are just kite shields here, and they worked really good in the second Heraldic Kickstarter, and I just got uh, some more from them. 
So again, different colors, different things, and they will also be having some of the new heraldic stuff. So I'm hoping in December here, very soon, I am able to share more with you guys about the Kickstarter. And again, it's gonna follow a similar format to the last two, and it's gonna be the final one involving the source using the complete guide to heraldry that I've been drawing all my uh, items with. Since the first one, we've been experimenting and playing with different forms of editing those files. And in the end, we're able to take a lot more than what I anticipated in the beginning. And I'm just gonna finish by doing a bunch more of the book of stuff already. And that basically covers the entire book and everything I can draw from it. So after the series three, I will be into new stuff, which we can talk about another time because I have all sorts of ideas. But that's it for now. Just a bit of an update on my channel and what I'm doing. Um, again, no metal acquisitions this month. I will probably do one for December. Um, I don't plan to get anything else new for Christmas or anything like that that I want to share because I've got so many models anyway. I actually resisted all Black Friday sales and bought nothing, which was amazing. And actually felt really good having some, <laughs> having some self-control instead of adding more to the lead pile. So that's it. That's all I want to say today. So hoping to share other projects with you guys in the next one. And we will see you next time. Have a good one. Carthage must be destroyed. Bye-bye.